The OS in OS Earth stands for Operating System, and OS Earth's school simulations use real-world data. They use real-world roles that students play, and they use real-world images. We're big computer games are now getting underway, in which we are sending them out how to, instead of play the great war games, how do you make the world work? And the games are being set up on a very interesting basis of how do you make the whole of the world available to every individual without any individual interfering with another and no man advantage at the expense of another. And that is coming about, and it's coming about very rapidly. OS Earth's global simulations are a direct descendant of Buckminster Fuller's world game. They take Fuller's game and they bring it into the schools for today. Saving the planet was just a game to a group of international students visiting Atlanta. But as CNN's Sean Caleb's reports in Earth Matters, the game demonstrated some brutal realities. It's a simulation that allowed them to look at world problems in new ways and search for solutions. How would you like to decide the fate of the starving millions? Or would you like to declare war on the United States of America? Some Philadelphia high school students are trying to solve the problems of the world and learning that managing a planet is no small task. Rich Maneri Saving reports. the world from all its problems is no game. Or is it? Eye on Iowa reporter Dana Cardin tonight says that was the question facing a room full of high school students today. And they see the connection between those things that are outside the school and the studies that they are engaged in in school. And suddenly, teachers from all over the world and students in debriefing sessions report that suddenly they see why they're studying what they're studying in school, why history is important, why their civics class or social studies class is important, why their geography class is important. When this real-world game is combined with state-of-the-art multimedia, it creates a unique educational experience that students remember for a very long time. important places where we learn about the world. You guys have to find a way to compete and collaborate and try to drive this economy so everybody does well. We need to figure out how to solve problems together and you don't get that from a lecture. You might get some information about good ways of behaving, but the complexity of group problem solving needs you to have an experience of it. <laughs> this is a case of the chicken or the egg, which comes first. Are you, are you, they're not going to give you food unless you address your human rights issues. We'll take chicken, we'll take eggs, we'll take any type of food you have. And there you have it. We have a lot of trouble, environmental problems, and we're trying to work on it, but it's going to be probably harder than we think. And they are prime examples of how you can make a profit and still be socially responsible. Okay.